In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to move your Adobe Premiere Pro files to from one computer to another. How can you save your file from a given computer and move it to your office and open it in another computer using the same Adobe Premiere Pro without you losing any of the content or having incompatibility issues, maybe because of the version of Adobe Premiere Pro you're using or something. So assuming I have this file, this is my Adobe Premiere Pro, I just open it and I've worked on a project on Clipchamp. This is all the project that I have. So many folders supporting all supporting files that I have videos in and some I have audios. I have to do a lot of synchronization and all. So let me show you the final version of what I actually have. So this is it, Clipchamp all. You can see it's a very long uh, file. And if I try to export it on this, my computer, I don't have enough storage. So I need to move it to another different computer uh, in my office and try to see how I can export it because the exporting alone can is going to take another maybe two or three hours to finish. And I'd, I want to continue with my work and while the, the, the thing is still exporting. So what I do is I repackage everything. I save it in a different format. And that's what I'm going to, going to show to you in this tutorial. All you need to do is to make sure you come to file and you can go straight to project manager. Come project manager over here. So this is going to show you all the sequence that you have in this particular Clipchamp all that I'm working on. Okay, the project I'm working on on Clipchamp. So you can see all the sequence that you're going to have. All I'm interested in, in is just this um, sequence, this Clipchamp all. And if you're interested in the others as well, you can select more than one and it's going to come along with all the supporting videos and it's going to save it uh, at that. So that's the first step, selecting of the sequence. The second step is the resulting project. You, you, have to, you can collect files and copy to new locations if you want. That's the default and that's what I usually do. And Or you can consolidate and transcode them if you're interested. But for me, I just go with the default. I don't change anything in the options also over here. You can exclude unused clips. Maybe if you are not using any kind of clip, any clip uh, that it detects is not being used for this sequence, it's going to exclude it. Exclude preview files. It can exclude uh, rename a media file to match up the names. You can do all that also from here. And you can tick all this just to make sure you have minimal file. Now down here, you have to specify the location where do you want to save it, the destination where you want to save the outputted file that you can transfer to the second computer. For example, I'm just going to save it in this my Toshiba hard drive. I'm going to come to tutorial courses. I'm going to come to July courses. Okay, clip champ all. Okay, so you can just create, create this folder and it's just a backup. So I can just click on choose and I choose this location and everything is going to be saved in that location and I can just take it to another computer very easily. So down here you have the disk space. You have this space available uh, in the drive that I'm saving. I have about one terabyte of uh, space. And original project size you can calculate by just clicking on calculate it's just going to calculate for you how much size of what you are going to move and it's pretty going to be very fast you can see it's just about 5.34 gigabyte so resulting project size is about 4.9 gig so that's what you you're going to expect so once you say okay to this it's just going to pop up this that uh, the op this operation required project to be saved um, continue yes i want it to be saved and then we can continue it's just going to apply analyze the project and just uh, go ahead and save it so it's pretty fast and very very uh, nice right now it has finished the saving or the backing up so you can just go ahead to that particular location and clip champ all and you can see it over here clip champ a uh, copied clip champ because this is just the uh, a backup file so this is the file that you're going to move to your drive and then take it to another computer and you can open it on any adobe premiere pro file and go on with your uh, editing or you can proceed with the exporting that, like my uh, in my own case you can just uh, click to open and you can see all the supporting document all the supporting videos are also accompanied in the same file so you can see you can just go ahead to that other computer and once you get there you can just come to straight to the project file over here and just double click and it's going to open this same file in that particular Adobe Premiere Pro software. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a bit about how to move your files or move your project from one Adobe Premiere Pro or from one computer to another with Adobe Premiere Pro files. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.